Hi guys, this is Rocco UD Gamer 10 and today we are going to play a short online game called The Journey Home. Uh, the people who have already played this game are telling it's a good game and very interesting and stuff like that. This is a normal keyboard game. You have to use your arrow keys and space and stuff like that. And it has a good story I've heard about so far. So let's try it. You are an adventurer for hire. You take various jobs and requests in order to make a decent living. Okay. You left your home and your family in order to travel and gain known experiences on your line of work. Now, for the first time in years, you are returning home, you have traveled far on your adventures and you are long way from home. The road is arduous or arduous, whatever, and full of danger. Various creatures and demons prey on travelers. Only the most wealthy people would be able to afford sail, safe transport. Okay. Everyone else undertaking the journey must do so on foot. Okay, so I will assume that we are not rich or wealthy and we will have to go on foot. You know all of this, but the, all that matters is your getting home, the long journey and the danger are worth it. Early one morning you pack what few belongings you have and her, head for the town market to pick up supplies for your journey. That's good. After stocking up on the rations and other necessities, you begin your journey home. The first day passes without much happening there are no other travelers on the road and you are too close to civilization for there to be any stray demons or monsters roaming around that night you happen to across happen across i will just say happen to cross happen to cross a campfire and a long traveler sitting lone traveler so sorry lone traveler sitting next to seemingly lost in a thought next to it okay next to the campfire i will assume seemingly lost in thoughts okay okay so they are not giving any directions and stuff you move with a and oh uh, sorry not okay you can move with the awsd code but i'm using arrow keys that's my way, so you can play it your way too. So, doesn't matter anymore. Okay. So, the art style is also good, I will have to say that. The link for this game will also be in the description. So, do check it out if you like this game. So, let's begin. Okay, he's telling something E and stuff. Okay, jumping over the campfire. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm pressing me. Okay, pressing me. Oh, critics! I didn't expect anyone to be traveling through here. But I am, so live with that. What's your name, friend? Okay, so I'm gonna type R O C C O, Rocco, enter, yo, whatever, that looks very weird. Rocco! Yes. Nice to meet you, Rocco. You can call me Meredith. Good name, buddy. Good name. I assume you are traveling not. Then we are both going in the same direction. But so I assume we can go together, right? I need some company on the way. I heard it's very dangerous and stuff, so do help me, Meredith. I'm on my way to the city. I imagine we will bump into each other a few times on our travels. If you're tired, you're more than welcome to relax here as long as you need. Our, our journey are long and dangerous. Any rest can we can get a small blessing. So we just started our journey, so I don't think we need to relax. But he looks like a good guy, so we can trust him. It's always nice to have some company. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. You sit by the fire with Meredith, happy to rest your legs. You end up talking about your most recent jobs as well as where you are going. 
Meredith says she's the huntress. She? I thought it was a guy, but it's a girl. So I will have to make a different voice for her. Sorry, guys. I didn't know about that. She is on her way to the city where the work pays better although she takes any job she finds along the way. That's good. You two, you two of you, the two of you, sorry. The two of you talk for a few hours before you decide it's time you, you be on your way. Before you go, Meredith reaches into her bag and pulls out two jars of preserved meat, handing them to you. It's not fancy, but from the sounds of things you could do with either more money or more food. <clears throat> this should keep you going for another two days if you pace yourself. Sorry guys, my uh, uh, my throat is hurting today, so that's why. <laughs> so far it's a good game. You thank her for the food and continue down the road. You continue traveling, leaving the warm gloom of Meredith's camp behind you. A day passes without much happening. The night you see what looks like a child collapsed on the road in the distance. You hurry to investigate. The girl is alive but is unconscious. On closer inspection, you see claw marks along her right arm. You recognize the claw pattern as that of a demon's. Ooh, so demons around. That bone seems to have been infected a few inflicted a few days ago. Although it seems she is passed out from exhaustion as opposed to her injuries. Given enough time. The girl will turn into a demon herself. That's creepy. However, she should have a few days left based on your knowledge of the infection. You don't have the skill or knowledge needed to make cure for it, but you can at least make a basic potion to give her back her strength. That we can do uh, easy peasy. You set off towards the nearby forest to find the herbs you need to prepare the potion. Yay! Okay, E. Everything in this game asks for E. So now the game starts. Controls A and D. <coughs> Left and right arrows. Yes, move. I don't. Space bar, up arrow. Jump, uh, whatever. What are we doing? It's attack or what? Right click to dodge. So it's attack. like a good game. I'm enjoying it. Yay! Uh, uh, so we can jump and attack. That's good. Good, good. Stay away. There are no mats for me. I'm, I'm too good for them. Same thing. Whatever. Okay. So, good news. I got a new subscriber last night I was uploading my video and I uh, someone named I forgot its name whatever it was he was from India that much I remember sorry about that I know the frames is shit man can we double jump hmm. oh man I play so bad Okay, okay. Yeah, oh. Oh. K. 
can we just for a second attack you I should first reset the frame and something because I think it's bad right now bad news I don't know how to reset the frame and everything so I guess this is fine shit shit pressing on the wrong area oh maybe I should have paid more attention to the controls of this game because I am literally just barely surviving everything and I don't know how to get there yes on second thought we ourselves look like a girl are we a girl character in this game I have doubts about that because we made we met a guy or a, <coughs> or a girl Meredith who looked like a guy and first of all I thought the Meredith was a girl day but I didn't pay any attention as I was too busy wondering that it was a guy shit man Okay, wait a second, let me read the controls. Okay guys, so I found out how to play this game more correctly. We can dash and stuff in this game, which is, I find very interesting. See, like this. Okay, that's good. But that's how we reach the other part of, it's basically through right click. Yeah, yeah. I was about to do that. Okay, wrong place. Shit. These controls are very confusing. If only it was a controller, I would have done much better. This this is meant to be a very short game and I'm making it too long. I'm I'm very weird. Okay, so we will try from here I guess. Yeah uh, We finally was able to reach there and Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I just keep on screwing this game up. Okay, so let's try better this time. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. We are not down. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, we're still up. Our health is almost zero. But we are good. You have all the herbs you need. You decide to return to the girl and prepare the potion. Good stuff. Hey. Yay, we did it. The return to the girl and hurriedly prepare the potion. You give it to her and lay her down on your bedroom. For some reason, I thought it was bedroom. I know nothing. I'm just weird. You make a fire while waiting for the potion to work. After a few minutes, she begins to wake up. Ooh, we meet again. Can we go? I'm just wasting my time jumping on the fire. It's on the background. E. E. Uh. Huh? Who are you? Where, where am I? She tries. Uh, sorry. She tries to scramble to her feet in a panic days but can't manage to lift herself off the ground you are very weak right now i guess you assure her sh she's safe and you start to explain how you found her and stuff you mean you're not going to try and drag me back to the village or you're not gonna just kill me right here how do i know i can trust you good question hey and why did you even help me in the first place? I don't know either. I have notice to give you. I have nothing to give you. Sorry. I have nothing to give you and you have probably noticed. But I have gone and gotten myself infected. And a big scary demon now. Apparently. Maybe they were right. Maybe I should have just be put down before I get any force. Okay. Who's there? There's a way to cure it, you know. Okay, let's ask who's there first. Everyone in my village. 
that girl is so straightforward. They would have killed me if I hadn't escaped. They thought I turned into one of those monsters and killed them all. So I ran and I didn't stop running even when the village was out of sight. I just wanted to get as far from there as possible. And fun fact, my throat is hurting too much right now. But you know what, it's about the fun if we have right now. So let's keep going. And now I am here. <clears throat> okay. There's a cure. Okay, let me speak first. I guess there would be. I went to the village alchemist to ask for help as soon as I could. As soon as I saw what problem I what problem was, he called the guards. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. He just assumed I was some kind of monster. That's when I ran, and that's how I ended up where you found me. Ooh. <laughs> I like to do that at the end, it's very funny. Nobody is going to try to cure me if I... They think I am some demon. I need to get help somehow, otherwise I... Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know what I will do. If I can't get help, Ooh. that's why we are, but it's kind of funny. I know, I know someone who can cure you. Who do we know? I don't know. Just, just keep talking and we. You do? Oh, fair. You tell her about your home in the alchemist who lives there. I'm sure she is great. But so is the alchemist in my village. <clears throat> How do I know she won't try to have me kill as well? So, I will assume we are also a girl character because everybody in this freaking game has a girl character. Because she won't seen me from the exact same infection. Oh. That's creepy. What? <clears throat> what? You have been infected before? You mean you have been through all of this? Ooh. You tell her how your father tried to keep your sickness hidden to protect you and about the adventure who's adventurer who saved you both from a mob of villagers. Finally you tell her about how the alchemist helped her help you without any fear of the infection. There really could be a chance of to cure me, then, ooh, take me there, please, I don't care what I have to do, I am just sick of running, ooh, you tell her to get some rest and that tomorrow you will start traveling again, hey, thank you, really, ooh, <laughs> That's too much. Uh, I just got overexcited and stuff. Oh, um, my name is Chinora. Chinora. Ah! <laughs> okay, whatever. By the way, oh, sorry. By the way, I guess I have never thought of telling you that earlier. Yes, I guess. What's yours, Rocco? Thank you again, Rocco. I didn't know what to say, really. I don't have any way to repay you, and I, I don't. She seems to have fallen asleep mid sentence. That's a weird girl. But who cares? This will. I am infected, I don't care, I am just speaking, speaking, sleeping, I don't care. Who sleeps in between the top? Okay, just kidding. It looks like the fa last few days have been more draining of her than it seemed. You could decide to get some sleep as well. Yay! At the break of dawn, you begin traveling with Genova towards home. 
Sleeping seems to have given her back her strength. She's taken a shine to you now that she knows you were once in her shoes. Good. While walking, she spends most of the time asking you about home and your family. She's getting blistered in me. Nothing of any particular interest happens over the course of the next few days. You don't pass by any towns and any other travelers you pass by only seem interested in their own affairs. Good. One night you notice you're running low on firewood. You set up camp on the outskirts. I don't know what that means. Of a forest. After making sure the area is safe, you show Genora how to get the fire started. Then you go. Same thing. Then you then go deeper into the forest to find more firewood. Okay. Yay! Firewood. Firewood. Shit! Wrong button. Don't kill me. Yay! Let's go. Die. Okay, this time I promise I will pay more attention to the controls and how I should play and stuff. Because lately I have been playing so weird. Okay, wrong button. Good. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we'd have, we could have done it so easily, but you know what? I'm free. You have enough fire with you decided to head back to the camp. Let's go to Ginora. Ginora. Okay, sorry. Um, Rocco, how far away is your home exactly? You tell her that there's about 10 days of walking between here and home. 10 days? Do you think I will be able to last for that long? We can try visiting other occupants along the way. Just about, just about. Besides, it's the best chance we have to get it. Okay, I will give the elevation. No, absolutely not. Once anyone finds out about the infection, they assume I will turn into a demon any second. No matter where we go, they'll be afraid of me. Woo! And I don't want you to get into any trouble because of me. You are already doing enough for me. I get that you did. Genora. 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 You chat for a little while longer and eventually go to sleep. Eager to start traveling again as soon as possible. Yay! The next day, you and Genora end up passing through the small town. Through a small town. You pass a tavern and the smell and the smell of food waiting out through the open doors makes your stomach growl furiously furiously yeah whatever you have been running low on rations and you only know now notice that your coin pouch is uncomfortably light as well you check the notice board to see if there are any jobs you could do on the way home for extra gold it looks like the mines nearby have been overrun by lesser demons and the client is the next town you will pass through pass through you decide to take it you continue walking and find the mines you tell Genora to wait inside the ent inside the entrance that's the weird stuff i have ever heard inside the entrance once you are sure it's safe and then proceed deeper into the mines Yay! Yay! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Hey! 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 Don't kill me! Don't come near me! I will kill you! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. So they are attracted towards our light, I guess. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, ooh, oh, eh, eh, I just noticed we are about to die any second. Don't kill me, don't kill me, shit. 
Let's retry. And this time I will pay more attention to the controls. Come on. Come on. Ha. Do we have to go? Okay, we have to kill ten enemies. Okay. Come at me. Die. Yeah, just need one more. His teams to be the last of demons. You heard back to the entrance where Jinora is waiting. You find Jinora sitting against a wall at the entrance. The right where you left her, she jumps to her feet and just herself off for you when you approach. That didn't take long at all. You weren't joking when you said it was a simple job. You make sure you have proof that you completed the job and job sorry well job but and then you both continue on the road. The next village should be about another day away and the sun is beginning to go down. You decide to set up camp for the night. The only visual we get is about night. So I wonder if there is a day visual or something. The two of you spend the night talking about your work and the types of jobs you normally take. So you spend almost every day hunting down monsters and protecting people from assassins and bandits. That sure sounds amazing. Can anyone become an adventurer? She seems to have taken a shine about the idea of adventuring for a living. You tell her about how you got started and some of the first jobs. Okay. And a few hours passed before you realize how late it is. You mentioned to Jinora that she should you know, probably get some rest. What? What? But I still don't know. What happened to the merchant? You can't just stop a story there. Yeah, okay, okay, you been sure we all thought he had escaped, but uh, okay, it's a cliff hanger. We'll start from tomorrow. Yes, that's probably the best idea right now. She pounces. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. At at you like a spoiled child. Fine. But you better tell me what happened next as soon as we wake up. Yeah! Oh, sorry. She giggles as she talks. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. It seems that she is genuinely enjoying herself even con uh, considering her condition. That's good. I like to share happiness. That's one of my goals of life. Yes. She cocoons herself in a blanket and rules over what she previously designated as the confious patch of grass. A smile still on her face. That's good. Good night, Rocco. The next morning, Jinora looks pale and wakes up coughing. It looks like the infection is starting to take hold quickly, or maybe it always had been, and she was just keeping it hidden. Okay, that's bad. Her smile from the night before is replaced with a concerned grim grimace as she clutches her chest. You keep traveling her coughing fits only uh, happen occasionally, but her walking slows down and her breathing is becoming heavier. Okay, that's bad. Real bad. Later on, you pass through the town that issued the last job. You get your payment and buy some food rations among your other necessities. On the way, you glance at the notice board. There don't seem to be any jobs available that won't take a number of days to complete. One job, however, catches your eye. Demon Hunter! Huntress Wanted! Young girl, recently infected, short brown hair, gray shirt, red face will turn at any moment. Large sum of gold afforded to any hunter-huntress who dispatches the girl before she 
and dangerous animal. I think that's the norm. What? What? I don't think the villagers, village food, and job tortoises are this far. You continue stared, uh, staring at the notice board. Uh, they didn't just post one sheet. They nailed a whole stack of pages on the board. Okay, that's real bad. You notice that there's a torn uh, scrap of paper hanging off the nail that was used to quickly pin the sheets on the to the board. Okay, someone has taken the job. You rip the rest of the sheet off the board and quickly leave the town. Okay. A few days pass, Jinora quickly gets worse. She becomes more and more pale by the eye. She coughs constantly and often breaks the school cell. Okay, nevertheless, you keep traveling home. It's only three more days away. I wonder if we come across that uh, Meredith. Because she said we will bump into each other more than once. I didn't think I didn't think this infection would get so much worse so quickly. How far are we are from your home now? You tell her there's only three more days left. Three days? Yeah, okay, I can make it. She keeps repeating that to herself under her breath like some kind of mantra. A few minutes pass. Raka, do you think you could tell me about some more of your adventures? You spend the night telling Trinoda about the most enjoyable jobs. It seems to, it seems to take her mind off the things a little while, sorry, and eventually she falls asleep and you talk. While you talk, sorry. You make sure she is warm enough and then go to sleep. You get up earlier than usual and start walking. Jinora, Jin, sorry, I thought it was a dialogue. Sorry. Jinora needs to rest like regularly, and her breathing is constantly heavy. You end up carrying her on your back, regardless of her protesting, and walk as fast as you can without causing her any more pain. You don't cover as much distance as you normally would. Carrying Jinora slows your pace down immensely. Eventually, night falls and you need to set up camp. Jinora barely says anything all night and as soon as she lies down, she falls asleep. Though her sleep is still distributed one. Disturbed one. At, at this rate, you will have to turn as much as possible uh, to get home run sorry not turn as much as possible to get home in time you decide to sleep earlier than usual you will need extra energy for the coming days okay you get up uh, get up at the break of dawn and continue walking you you sling Jinora over your back and start walking as fast as possible this game is very long I swear this shouldn't be in the short games category or 5 minutes game whatever I will leave the link in the description check that out she looks at him surroundings through half open eyes and seems to be unaware of what's going on around him the day drags on her legs are get, giving out under a, a bite and you by the time of the sun sets the day drags on your legs are giving out under you by the time the sun sets as you uh, trudge along the road uh, you feel Jinora tap you on the shoulder it seems she has gotten some energy back from this black energy ba- back what am I doing I English so bad all those English speakers would be angry on me right now but you know what I don't care energy back after resting all day even if only a little you put her down and the two of you keep walking in silence okay a few minutes later you happen across the uh, campfire Meredith with a feminine face resting next to it fast no face whatever ah Oh, that's confusing. I made the Chinora and Meredith almost the same. So I will continue. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Okay. How have you traveled? It's been so far. Oh, you found a friend? 
I see my apologies. I am Meredith and you are Chin Chinora It's nice to meet you, Chinora. Are you feeling okay? You look a bit pale. No, no, I am I'm I'm fine, really. You cut the conversation short, Jinora seems like she's collapsed any second. You tell Meredith that you need to keep traveling. You're kinda cut you're in a quite of hurry. Aren't you? Well, no worries. I'm sure we'll meet again. You quickly continue down the road, Jinora already staying upright. Stay safe, friends. You continue traveling. As soon as Meredith comes in, is far behind you, uh, you, uh, Jinora clutches her chest and coughs violently. <coughs> Sound effects. You continue walking as far as you can, but eventually you hope to stop for the night. Even though Jinora is wrapped in her blanket, the next to the fire, she still shivers with the shivers with cold. You throw your blanket over her and sit against a tree watching the road and you are almost positive that sleeping tonight would be dangerous. A few hours pass before you notice a slothai moving down the road. I don't know what that means. Seriously. They seem to be glancing around looking for something or someone and you think you can guess who it is. Chin. No Obviously. You extinguish the fire as quickly as you can to avoid being seen, but you are too late. The figure comes to a halt and they are looking directly at you. You seem to slight glow appear in their hands and then a cascade of fireballs launches from the, them flying towards you. You jump to your feet and get ready to defend yourself. So do you have to do anything? Yeah, covered me. That's the end of the barrage. You quickly try to find where the attacker is gone. Yeah. You sprint out onto the road, catching a glimpse of the uh, assailant running over a hill. Although your legs are weak from earlier, the adrenal pumping through you makes you feel like you can run for days. You catch up the mage. Mage. As you suspected, it's Meredith. Meredith? She tries to run as you approach it seems she is only suited to fighting from a distance. You catch up quickly and tackle her to the ground. Uh, Rocco, we meet again it seems. You tell her to explain herself placing your sword to her throat. It's simple. She will turn into a monster any day now or any second by the looks of things. Killing her while she's weak is for the greater good. And if I can protect some extra gold, pocket some extra gold while during while doing so, then all the better. Okay, so you turned out to be a bad girl after all. Man, you can't trust anyone these days. You have you have become too atta attached to her to see that she's a threat. You explain to her how it can be cured. Ah, yes. You've done an excellent job of that so far, it seems. What if you can't get the cure in time? What if she does? Would you be willing to put it down if it come to that? Hmm. That's a good question. I'll do what I have to, but only if I have to. It won't come to that. Let's show some confidence. Ha! <laughs> the blind optimism of you. Only time will tell if you're correct. And from what I can guess, you don't have much of that left. <laughs> now, then. Okay, so it's the other then. Very confusing. Now, then. 
we will what will you do with me i have lost this little confrontation it seems i'm curious to see how you handle this situation let's kill her she's a bad guy you get mad this throat she clutches at the phone and gasps for a few seconds but eventually her arms close by the side and she remains still you can rest assured that there will be no more obstacles between here and home other than the distance oh shit i'm wondering she's for the bad guy but we were a good guy now we are a bad guy too because we killed her that's right you rush back to the home you are surprised to see what is almost done and Jinola seems to have fallen unconscious and her heart is barely beating you don't have much time left the adrenaline from earlier is still flowing through you you how and Jinola onto your back and break into a sprint sprint your adrenaline only lasts so long eventually you feel your legs are threatening to give out the beneath you still you keep on running when you wade through rivers and sprint over hills as well as your body screams at you to stop you keep on running after what feels like an eternity you approach a familiar town or oh, on the opposite side of this town just on the side it's your home you attach to the gates and into the market street is full of people and if you didn't know the town so well uh, already you would have lost in the crowd Uh, you uh, barge straight into the through the crowd, not caring who or what. Yeah, you head along the way. You break out of the swarm of people, and you keep coming, going towards the north. The fact that there is too much reading for me, and I don't speak that much English in a day, but that's keeping uh, me going. So let's keep going, or whatever. Your you leave the gates and sprint into the uh, through the forest, into the forest on the outskirts. Finally, in the sun, soaked the forest clearing. You see it. You see your home. You slam into the front door, shouting for the alchemist. The door opens, and you're greeted by the familiar faces. Sorry, as you barter through them, taking no time for greeting, and put Jinura on the table. All while explaining the situation to everyone between each breath. You collapse to your knees and next to the table, your legs finally giving way. The alchemist gestures and to the other way to get things set up. You proceed to make the same potion she made for you all those years ago. You try standing up to help, but you find the your vision going blurry. Soon after, you pass out. Okay, that's bad. Or not? Eventually, when you regain consciousness, the first thing you notice is how much pain your legs are in. The and countless stinging sensation from burns you suffered during Meredith's attack. Uh, those uh, through don't stay with you long. However, that was too much. I'm sorry I missed that one. But she will definitely be okay, right? Absolutely. That's the first guy I've seen in this game. And I've come to give him the best one. Absolutely, my talent is tougher than you know. Ooh, so we are uh, good. I, I'm not surprised at all. That's obvious. Adventure. He's right. Chase the monsters. They say so. I st- say so myself. But I've seen her pull through some of the worst injuries I've ever seen. A few bones and sore legs are nothing to rock out. So we should have given some good in like Riley, I guess. How much to make the cure for the infection, though? Oh, I swear, if she knew that when she found you, she know that there wouldn't have been any problem whatsoever. That girl needs to catch up her alchemy. I blame 
you for her, you for her be distracted with all the adventuring. Hey, it's not my fault she prefers actual excitement and adventure over staying in all the big potions. You don't, you don't realize you're arguing over my tallest career choice. My daughter, who seems to have no interest in smitting. Oh, I guess there's a pen, pun intended. It's smith smitting at all, I might add. A smile spreads across your face as you hear everyone laughing. You sit up slowly and open your eyes. Uh, hey, she's a fake! Finally the game is ending. I'm so happy right now. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. The end. Replay. Not at all, buddy. Not at all. Okay guys, so that was the end of the game. Which was supposed to be only 5 minutes long. But that took me about 45 minutes or more, I guess. So that's too much for me actually. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, just hit the like button. Uh, you can find the game in the description, obviously. And thanks for staying up for that long to watch my game video. It's good. You can try it out. <coughs> so the dialogues and stuff was too long, but it was good. Do subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, comment any suggestions or stuff you want to uh, give me, and. One more thing, do write in the comments any game you want to see on me playing on my channel.